I just wanted to show you a situation with the slate, which tone I should be using for this. Uh, this is just paste in of a photograph I took the other day when I was up there of the one plane of the roof. So that's just to give you a, you know, you can't really tell from looking at, it, but really this is just you know, what is your interpretation of the color of your slate. And these are just some different textures I've put together uh, showing it. And I believe, you know, if I was going to use your existing uh, slate, which is right here, to interpret where to go from there, I'm inclined to use uh, one of these back here. Or possibly this one and this is you know it's not a big deal but it's always nice to have it reflect what the owner feels they see when they look at their house so if you want to you know register any feedback that's fine otherwise if I had to pull the trigger right now I would probably cho choose this one back here it's amazing that I could as well choose this and those are so different from one another uh, but I would be choosing this one here or maybe this one here let me know what you think though all right last night we this is where we had ended where I was saying I would choose this one or this one uh, this morning however uh, when I went and looked at some photographs I took the other day I'm not sure this is a little bit more green than that or a little bit more gray than that. I took it and pasted it into that shot or another shot similar. And you can see that this plane where I was kind of settling on last night is quite a bit more green than this. This is probably still too blue, so I did some more experimentation. So the first thing I did was take some of this slate and make a texture and paste it onto a hypothetical plane back here. This is not finished yet down here, but I wanted to actually have it in the same photograph and in the same kind of orientation. Uh, and then I, this was probably the first little permutation. I don't know if this is probably called uh, Tone J, maybe. Uh, began to adjust a little bit. And when I take that same thing, this is facing west, take it and face it north, it's still quite a bit more green than this. So these next three or four are just uh, my experimentation to arrive at uh, what I'm finally settling on, unless you tell me, no, it's much more like uh, this one, for example. So here they are as we step through them. That's J and then K. And it's really hard to see the difference, but I can. L, and that's L applied to all of the planes. And you just keep your eye on this here and this here. And we're kind of looking for something close there. Uh, and then just a little bit more adjustment, adding a little bit more blue uh, to the shade here at uh, M. And finally, this is where I'm running with this. Unless I hear anything else from you, I'm running with this color of the building it's really hard to get this correct because of the sun angles and so forth uh, if I make it too light it doesn't look right if I make it too dark it doesn't look right so we'll just have to live with that probably as we go forward that's all for now I'll be back in touch as quickly as I can oh I know before I go a, a quick flip back this is where essentially we were last night where we were going to use this one or this this one and obviously you can really see uh, how the adjustment has made a difference here some quick uh, photographs of your existing and it's really I just think the lighting is just poor on this especially with regard to the groove uh, garage roof definitely think that we're best something like this and no more certainly no more green but I think any more gray uh, really just makes it too purplish and 
just not correct. So that's where we are. I know it's not a really big deal, but uh, might as well have it as authentic as possible.